so here let's do the demo and uh, add the remaining part of uh, this application so we have auth uh, resolver added auth service added and this is how we were just doing the sign up creating the token but here we need to add because here we are using nest js jwt so we can do the dynamic initialization of it and we are using password password module to validate the authorization header coming after you log in so first of all we will just initialize the password module dot register and then jwt module dot register async we are doing a dynamic initialization of this we will be injecting the config module and the config service and we will use uh, use factory so what we are doing is we are getting the configurations from the config module the configurations is like a secret key and the expire in these are the two properties which are required for this uh, config uh, this jwt module these are the jwt module options which contains two properties the secret key secret is it like a, a string keywords which you are using to create a token so all those properties we are defining in the while initializing the jwt module so whenever you do jwt dot sign while doing a login we will just use these properties secret and the expiring property okay just uh, some code fixes we can do here it's like some duplication of line so just we can just remove the line 18 or 17 and then const options equal to jwt module options empty object and here if uh, we got the secret value i mean if we if we got the configurations there expiring property then in the options also we can update options dot uh, expi options options dot sign in options and we can return these options because this use factory is going to return jwt module options and then we are injecting the config service and just put a comma to fix it okay so this is jwt module we have added in our application so auth service will start using it we don't need to pass the expiry in the jwt dot sign all these sign in options are being passed from the dynamic initialization of jwt module so this is how we are doing it create user create user input and all similarly these are the types this is auto generated class which we have now this user resolver we have a create user we are doing validation and creating the user in the system that's it so we have a sign up and we have a login now what we will do is we can just talk about uh, creating the strategies user uh, i mean the auth strategy for that we already have this uh, these modules already added the passport module and jw so let's see let's we are running the application our docker containers are running and here we can test this thing simply this is like the graphql graphql interface we'll just send it this is the altair client which i'm using uh, you can just uh, search it through the google chrome and you can add the altair client to the chrome add-on this is the url and it is exposing this schema and this documents okay you can use the altair client to just run the queries this is really nice and uh, healthy helpful so if i want to do a create user i can just click on to this this will add the query and then we can send this query and uh, mutation mutation create user it has created the user successfully okay and then we can use this to login the user with the same email and a password we will just send a query now instead of mutation login add query and we'll just uh, replace this email and password okay picture url we don't have send the this query and we got the token right so our uh, simple login and the sign up uh, is working now what is the next step is let's say we did a sign up we are able to do the login now what if like i wanted to access some protected apis for that we are going to create a auth strategy which will extract the authorization header once you receive that after login and then you can access the protected apis because you will be passing this uh, authorization header you will be sending authorization header and requesting because i am logged in user and i wanted to access some protected apis so i will create this auth strategy in the constructor we can just because constructor is going to call the the parent class constructor methods extract jwt and it is using auth service and the config service so this validate method of uh, jwt strategy is going to validate 
whatever the email exists in the payload because what you do is this is the jwt token you decode it and you get the uh, the payload from inside a payload whatever the email is there that really a valid user if that is a valid user then we will just return the user and then we can just create the auth guard and protect our api routes this config service okay we fixed it okay so this is our simple auth strategy if user is not there then we can just return authentication error unauthorized error authentication error from the graphql saying okay the email doesn't exist or uh, please log in first to access the protected apis or you are not authorized to access these resources this validate payload is nothing but it's just doing a find by email if user exists with the email we are good and it is injectable so we can just write an injectable to this and jwt strategy we need to add in the auth module so auth resolver and jwt strategy now this is fine now we can use this thing in uh, auth guard so what is the auth guard auth guard is just this is jwt auth guard it is just checking if uh, request.user object is available then return the user object so uh, here we are checking so first of all jwt strategy will come into picture and then auth guard so you can just use this jwt auth guard in any of the route to check if user is already logged in user has the valid token like this refresh token so we are adding a, this jwt auth guard and uh, what this auth guard will do this auth guard will check okay do you have a request.user object available inside a request object and who is putting the user object in the request the jwt strategy auth strategy is putting the user object in the request so here let's play with this and uh, we'll try to see if it works so here we are setting this we'll just copy this token and we'll just use this refresh token for this refresh token we need to send authorization header so here we can set the authorization which is bearer and this token we can copy and we'll send it okay could not authenticate with the token let's try to debug this why this is happening okay so refresh token the only thing it can these errors are coming from jwt strategy and auth guard so first of all jwt strategy here uh, things are good this is coming from where this is coming from the guard okay so before guard there is a jwt strategy is executing so here is the error i was not returning let's see what is the error from jwt strategy looks like uh, things are good but i'm not returning the the user object from strategy because i'm checking the payload payload is there console.log user is also there it is coming up it is still the same could not authenticate with the token now what is the probably error because in the handle request i can see that um, inside the validate first we are checking okay validate payload we can just do a console.log So if you look into strategy, this is the line 25 was missing. And now if I do this, I could not authenticate the user does not have permissions. So that is fine. We will just use the refresh token query and we'll send it. Okay, we got the token. So now this that is working. The only simple fix for that is uh, what we are doing in this refresh token is first we got the context from context. We got the user object. And we are just passing this user object to the create token method and we get the new token and we are just returning it so this is a simple uh, troubleshooting i mean sometimes it happens is you miss some return statement and it creates a lot of problem from the auth strategy from the validate method you need to return the user object after doing that so that from the because that strategy will put that user object on the request so your auth guard will be able to capture the request.user object